Okay, so what we're gonna do here is try to get this oil pump pickup tube into the oil pump. I've already kind of dry fit on it, and I know these are supposed to be a kind of a tolerance to an interference fit where the opening is tighter than the pickup tube diameter by a certain amount to make sure, because there's no bolt that holds this together and no gasket, no washer, nothing except uh, inter uh, tension. But I think this is a little excessive. I measured the inside bore of the oil pump pickup on the pump at an average of about 0 0.606 of an inch. Well, as it turns out, when I take the same measurement of the oil pump pickup, I come up with 6.2 inches. Exactly, 6.2 inches. That's a lot. That is a... Uh, no genius, but that's 14 hundredths of an inch. That's over a sixteenth of an inch difference in uh, the size of the opening here versus the outside in, outside diameter of your oil pump pickup. It's tough to overcome. And not really a fan of putting things in a vise, and I definitely don't want to just hammer the crap out of stuff. So what I think I'm going to have to do is heat this up, just like I did with the uh, crank sprocket on the timing chain. Very similar situation. So uh, I thought I was ready to do that, but I left my lighter upstairs and I don't have an auto start for my pump or my torch. So let me grab my lighter and we're going to get some fire on this thing. Okay, we've got my lighter. Let's get this torch lit off here. Everybody in the world carries it though. Best tool to ever have in your pocket. Loves it, those. They're always there when you need them. Alright, let's get a little bit of heat on this. I have a little bit of assembly lube in the bore. I was trying to keep some lube in there. I'm just going to wipe that out real quick. Don't know what will happen to assembly the room when it hits four or five hundred degrees. I don't want to find out. I'm trying not to shoot fire directly into the hole, just kind of moving around the outer surface of it. I don't know how long it will take, but a little bit of time to heat up because there's, there's going to be a lot of radiant cooling from the surface area of this pump and it's iron so it should transfer the heat fairly okay or I want the heat to stay concentrated right here at this gap. And I don't have the torch on full blast either. I'm not trying to weld this thing. Let's see if I can get any action out of that. And the short answer is not much. Hasn't really made a difference at all. Keep a little more heat on it, I guess. We'll try it one more time. These are matched devices too. I mean, this uh, this is a melling pickup and a melling pump. I don't know why the hell it has to be like this.
absolutely nothing. Son of a you know what. That's just ridiculous. You know, I've watched a lot of engine build videos and I know this is always a source of consternation for people putting their motors together, but I, I didn't think it would be this bad. Uh, these, these tolerances are just ridiculously tight. Uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, perhaps call Melly and say what the TF is going on. Uh, I've lubed it. I don't want to hammer on it because you're going to dent or bend this tube doing that. But um, it may come to that. I may have to just like wrap a towel around here and just start getting on it with the uh, sister sledge here. Um, I'm going to play around with it. We'll see if that's what it comes to. Okay, well, just heat alone didn't get it done. Uh, I was able to get it started, but just can't get it in any further. So I'm going to try something else here. It's like the last thing I'm going to try before I just break down and buy the uh, actual installation tool for this jerk. Look at the actual installation video online from Melling. Like, don't do this, don't do that, buy this. Well, sell that with the kit then, you assholes. So what I'm going to do is heat this up. I've been heating on it a little bit. I'm not going to put too much more heat on it. So I'm going to get this hot. Well, I guess that's enough. I'm going to attack it from both directions. This is not rainbow sherbet. This is ice. And I've iced down my pickup. So we're going to try to expand that and contract this. Let's see if that helps at all. I'm going to put a little lube on it. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Watch this thing crack from the cold right as I put it in. You now it's only going as far as I got to go earlier. So let's see if you fix that. touch move it around a little you have to do this in a couple of steps but it's over halfway home now just trying to get it the rest of the way it's rattling around like mad I'm not really putting a big dent in anything in this pickup tube it's all right It's almost there, almost home. All right, keep going. Just giving it nice consistent hits. I don't want to whack on it. I'm definitely bracing it with the towel. I just saw. One more, couple hits, I think I'm there. Well, now you know where all my uh, number punches are. They were right there. But this thing's like less than an eighth of an inch from being home. So I'm going to give it two more hits and we're going to call it good. I think it's so hard my vice is moving. We straighten this and tighten it back down. It's in. Unbelievable. Nobody should have to go through this much to get something installed like that. The tool online is $20. I'll take a $20 risk because that's over half the cost of buying a new pump if I ruin this one. Just like I don't buy extended warranties at the electronics store if it's over a certain percentage of the cost of the thing you're buying. It just doesn't make sense. I'll risk $20 against the, having to replace the pump in the future after install or after I try to dry prime it before the engine starts. But this is in. So all I need to do is get it on the motor and we'll check the depth, set the depth, mark it, and then I'm going to have to run it out to like a muffler shop around town or somebody with a welder and get a tack weld on it. But at least for now, we're good. Okay, now that that disaster's over with and I got the pump and screen installed. I put them back on the motor, torqued it down. I let it cool off a bit. 
Um, I did everything mellowing says you're not supposed to do. Uh, I used a hammer and I used a vise. And I went even further than mellowing. I used heat and ice. So that's four ways failure according to mellowing. And we'll see. They may be right. I don't know. At this point, I'm just so ticked off at these things that I don't give a shit. If I have to buy a new pump, that's the way it's going to be. So I got this in place. What we got to do is now set the height of the pickup tube. My pan is seven and a half inches deep. You're supposed to measure off the flat surface of the oil pan on the block up seven and a half, subtract a half an inch for the height of off the floor of the pump for the pickup tube. So this would be set at seven inches. But I've got my pan gasket here, and this is a heavy duty gasket. It's about a quarter inch thick. So my overall height of my pan is gonna be seven and three quarters. So if I wanted to do that off the block, I would have to uh, move this pump down to seven and a half, or seven and a quarter inches, not seven inches, to account for the thickness of the gasket. But I mentioned my way, um, or I'm going to mention my way, I'm gonna move this pump up higher, this pickup tube higher than the oil pan should be. And I'm gonna push the oil pan down, I know it's gonna hit this, the oil pan should move this as far as it'll go to touch the bottom of the pan, then I will subtract a half an inch off of that. And I've already made a mark on the chassis of my oil pump. I uh, use my Dremel and put a little notch right here for reference, and then when I get this depth set, I'm gonna set a notch on my pickup tube so that when I get this off again and take it to like a muffler shop or wherever to get this tack welded in place, all we gotta do is line these two marks up and everything's set. So I got the oil gasket in place, got the oil pan, I'm just gonna offer the pan up, and there's where it's hitting the pickup tube right now. So I'm just gonna press down slowly, try to keep my gasket in place until the pump is moved down all the way and my pan is mated up with the gasket, which appears to be about right here. So that's pressed down nice and flat. Now the pump pickup is resting on the bottom of the oil pan. So I'm just gonna take my pan back off. And from here, I could just eyeball a half an inch or whatever but um, taking a lot of chances here, so I'm actually going to measure this now. I'm going to find the height off the deck to here, and then I will move it down a half inch off that. Okay, so let's set the depth on this. I got a ruler. It's a whatever, drywall, carpenter square ruler. Uh, the good part about doing it the way I'm doing right now is you don't have to lay this flat and then get another ruler laid up here and then transfer the measurements over. You can find every, any reference point you want on the block. Right now, it's one of the counterweights of the crank. And just set it up to the top line of the oil pan pickup, oil pump pickup. And right here, where I'm using this reference, I'm at four and uh, five eighths inches. So I'm going to take a half inch off of that. That would come to four and an eighth inches, if my math is right. Four eighths is a half, plus the one eighth would be five eighths. So four and an eighth inches. So all I want to do is move this down to four and one eighth inches right about there. Now my depth is set. And uh, that part's done except for putting the mark on the pickup tube to reference the mark on the pump. So when I get it welded, I'm just gonna take my Dremel and a little rotary bit. I'm gonna line up the mark on the pump with the mark with the pump pickup. I'm just gonna put a tiny little shave right there. Not really moving any metal, just the tiniest little reference point right there. I know it's there and I'll know what to look for when I take it to them. So that's all set. I don't freak out about metal shavings. Literally move no metal. I basically just shined that thing up. And I'm gonna wipe it down, clean it off the rag anyway. So my marks are set, the depth is set. I'm going to take this back off and probably tomorrow just drop it off real quick in a muffler shop or something and have them tack weld that and reinstall it on the motor. Wow. What an ordeal for the simplest little thing. Thanks, Boeing. I think I'll be coming back to you never.